or the advantages of a reverse mortgage? First of all, you are always on title to the home. About the biggest misconception with reverse mortgages is, let's say you have a $600,000 home and you qualify for $350,000 in a reverse mortgage. And we'll talk about qualifications in a minute. Um, a lot of people think you're selling your home to the bank for $350,000 when, when it comes time to, to uh, pay the loan back, you just give the house back. That's totally, that's totally not true. With this mortgage insurance that's built into the program, you'll never owe more than what your home is worth. You know, you could take out one of these at 62, and if you're a couple, it's a very high percentage that one of you will live into your 90s. So that's 30 years of being in the same home with never making a mortgage payment. You could end up owing more than what the home is worth. In that case, um, then let's say your heirs at that time could just then they could just return the home to the lender. They will not owe, owe anything more than what the home brings at sale. So you would not be passing on any type of debt to your heirs or estate. You can stay in the home for as long as possible. A lot of people figure, think that, oh, what if my loan balance becomes more than what my house is worth at that time? That, that is not a factor. Uh, you can stay in your home for as long as you possibly can. And obviously, you must you will eliminate monthly mortgage payments. Again, you're responsible for your real estate taxes and homeowners insurance. Uh, most counties in the DC area here offer up to 100% real estate tax relief. So that's something that uh, if you're considering this, you could look into too, and that could 